Hey all, Chaos here. Um, recently come to my attention that while I've gone to great lengths to show people how to play games like Dungeon Master 2 and hopefully some more DOS games in the future, I have yet to actually show people how to get these games running, such as through DOSBox. The thing is, DOS is pretty old, and a lot of people nowadays don't know how to use it unless they lived way back when. And about, you know, 1990. Um, the thing about DOS that you need to understand first and foremost is that it is an operating system. Much like Windows 95, Windows uh, XP, Vista 7, so on and so forth. Um, the major difference with DOS compared to more modern operating systems is that it is text-based instead of visual-based. Um, what this means is to do to move from file to file to run programs to just traverse your directories you need to type in what you want to do instead of clicking on icons um, before you do anything else the th what you need to do to get DOSBox working is you need to mount something as your C drive in my case pretty much by doing this you type in mount C and then you type in the file path of whatever you want to mount. In my case, I typed in C colon slash. I just set the C drive as the C drive. It says that this is not recommended. I don't know why. I've never had any problems with it personally, but if you don't want to do that, you can mount a subdirectory. I just find it easier to navigate if C is my C. Um, I also have mounted as the D drive, my E drive, which is my CD drive, and this is all a bunch of configuration stuff to make it work properly. Um, unless you're going to be using your CD drive to run a game, you probably don't need to worry about this, and it may just be easier to mount an image instead. Um, but that's what you can do if you wish to do that. Anyway, the first thing you're going to need to do when you get into DOS, um, DOSBox defaults to the Z drive. Um, you really won't need to worry about this necessarily in real DOS, but you're going to need to worry about in DOSBox. It's very unlikely you're going to be using the real DOS because XP and beyond removed DOS entirely from its thing, its programming. So, um, which is why DOSBox DOSBox exists. It's because DOS they stopped supporting DOS. Um, so pretty much what you're going to need to do. Um, is first change to the C drive um, by typing in C colon. And there you go. You're in the C drive. Um, what you'll have to do after this is change to... Um, well, you'll t need to type in CD slash to change the directory. Um, and, well, you'll need to know what's in your directory. Pretty much it's going to be the same as for example, I'm on the C drive. This is, here's my C drive. Um, I need to access program files because that's where I have Dungeon Master 2. I'm going to pretty much be showing you how to uh, go into Dungeon Master 2. Um, we have the program files here, and so to access the program files folder, DOS wise, you would type in program and then tilde and one. Um, that's because DOS can't support more than eight characters. So what you need to do is type in six and then tell it uh, tilde one. Because, for example, I would put I have program data as well. I would put tilde two for to access pro. If I put tilde two, it would program tilde two. It would pretty much access program data instead of program files. So since this is the first one that starts with program, I put tilde one. So, pretty much, I type this in, then I type slash to separate it, um, and then we're now in the program, well, now from program files, um, you need to go into the next folder. Uh, this is going to vary from person to person. I personally have all of my old DOS games in a folder called PC Classics. Um, so what you type in here is PC class. Don't put in the space, and that's up to six characters, then put in tilde one. Again, because it would be more than eight characters, so I need to shorten it down to eight. So six plus the tilde one. 
then once we've got that, um, next we need to be in um, Dungeon Master 2. Uh, as you can see, I also have Dungeon Master, so it's going to. They both start with the same thing, Dungeon Master, or in this case, Dungeo. Um, since Dungeon Master 2 is the second folder alphabetically, um, I would put tilde and then 2 to access. If I put tilde 1, it would, of course, go into Dungeon Master. If I put in tilde 2, it's going to go into the second one that starts with the Dungeo, which is Dungeon Master 2, Legend of Skullkeep. Um, and then. In that folder is where all the programs that we're going to be accessing are, so we can just hit enter. Now we are in Program Files, PC Classics, Dungeon Master 2. Um, if we want to view, with DOS, if you want to view what's in a directory, all you have to type is, all you have to do is type in dir, dir. And it lists everything that's in that, that particular folder. Um, similar to right here. As you can see, Dungeon Master 2, Dungeon um, ERG card.exe, ERG card.ini, uh, FTL, and so on. What, what you're going to need to run before you play the game is you're going to need to type in setup and run the setup. Here we have selecting the digital, which is pretty much the sound effects. Select MIDI, which is pretty much the music, and you need to tell them um, pretty much all the specifications. Um, for example, as you can see off to the right, I have the digital device set Sound Blaster Port 220 DMA1 IRQ7. And then I have the MIDI device Sound Blaster MIDI Port 388. Um, these are the ones that I found to work. I looked it up on the internet, and these are the only ones that someone suggested these in a topic on a forum to get both the sound and the music working. I tried it and this is how it, and this managed to make it work for me. Um, I've had people on YouTube message me telling me that they didn't get, this wouldn't work for them, but they had found another one that another setup configuration that did work. So you're going to have to I would recommend trying this. If this doesn't work, then you're going to have to just experiment until you can find an appropriate setup that will work for your system. Um, okay, then once we've done that, you can type in... As you can see, there's Skull EXE. You'd think you'd run that. You don't actually run that. For Dungeon Master 2, you have to run dm2.bat. Um, and... There's a game. Simple as that. Alright, well, I hope that this tutorial gave you a general idea on how to navigate using DOSBox and how you're going to need to run things and install things and set up things and play things. Um, please message me or comment asking questions if you need help. I'm more than willing to help get these games working. It's just that I figured I'd give a general tutorial on how to get uh, DOS in general working and how to navigate it and how to use it for those who've never used it before, either by being too young or just weren't interested in computers when it existed. Um, well, that's pretty much all there is to it, so I'm signing off here. Uh, I hope this helped those of you who needed it.